And in, I looked it up in my Bible this morning. It's uh, Deuteronomy 18 and 19, if you would like to write that down. I mentioned it several times before. But uh, God told, is, uh, told uh, the people, well, Moses wrote this years after it happened. So God gave Moses an insight to what had taken place. And God told Moses, and this is something that people overlook, and I think it's one of the most terrible things that's happened to our generation. And God said, if a man take on himself to prophesy what I have not told him to prophesy, and it come not to pass, this man should die. Did you, did you catch what God was telling him? If a prophet prophesies something, and I have not told him, he's just taking it upon himself to prophesy, and it come not to pass, or it's a false prophecy, this man should die. And I don't know about you, but I remember starting back, I got to notice him uh, during World War II. All of your television prophets, and, uh, radio prophets, wasn't television then, but radio prophets. They started out, Hitler was the, the beast man. And after Hitler died, anyone who was a national, uh, international figure was the beast man. And they, those preachers didn't miss any of them. But those people all died. And God said, if they fall, I prophesy a false, false prophecy, they ought to die. You ought to kill them. And we have, we've had all of your international figures. I don't think they've missed a one. Uh, from Hitler to the Pope, whoever else, they were the beast man. And God said, if you prophesy falsely, you ought to die. And it's been proven that none of these people were the beast man. They're not today. Uh, now we have Osama bin Laden as a, as a beast man. And he's not the beast man. Uh, Peter said, Antichrist is with us already. In other words, anyone against Christ is anti-Christ. And if they're not against Christ, they're not anti-Christ. And we were told during World War II that Germany is a bunch of atheists. And the soldiers, when they got over there, marveled because Germany was full of churches. Now, someone was wrong. And that someone should have died from the very beginning. And that would stop a lot of this stuff. Now, I don't believe in capital punishment, but God can take care of these people. And <clears throat> you sin, you die. And that's one of the first after Adam and Eve, that's one of the first group that God said should die. Is people who take it on themselves to be a prophet, they should die. 